Brock the Yahoo, Brock the Yahoo Shy, Brock the Yahoo, Brock the Yahoo Shy, Brock the Yahoo, Brock the Yahoo Shy. I like to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory. See Yahoo, by Shim Yo Shy, by Shimmer Kakadash. Yahoo is the true name of the Heavenly Father, the world calls God. And Yahweh Shah is the true name is only begotten the Son of the world, and only calls Jesus Christ. I right, to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well for preaching 100% truth. In season and out of season, according to most eyes will, the correct doctrine, giving up their bodies as a living sacrifice for the most high's sake, which is a reasonable service. All right. Double honors goes out to you. I like to say Shalom, which is peace to the whole full act. All right. Sincere Akim. All right. Now, the nation of Israel is consists of you, so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. All right. Starting with the 144,000 down to the one third, all Israelites who will receive salvation of America once destruction comes, which is near. All right. All right. As well. I like to say shalom to the confusion of face. All right. It is like foreigners who are scattered across the globe who look like a different heathen nation. All right. Who don't typically look like an average day Israelite. But for your sea line, you go back to Israelite man and your spirit bears a witness that you're Israelite. Because you can accept this word. Shalom goes out to you. All right. I like to... um. Give more praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakadash, for allowing me to do another video to the Holy Spirit. And this video to the Spirit topic is going to be uh, during times of trouble, all right, during the times that are coming, all right, to this world, all right, do not panic. All right. Don't panic. All right. Because majority of these people, all right, are not aware of what's going to come to this world. All right. What's about to come to America? Great destruction. All right. Death on every avenue you look. All right. Death, slaughter, famine, pestilence, martial law, race riots, World War Three. All right. Animals breaking out of zoos, all right? Demons everywhere. Leviathan, okay? These people are not ready for this, okay? So you're not supposed to panic, all right? Although we're in these bodies, our heart may beat fast, all right? If sudden destruction were to happen, a false flag attack, all right? Our heart may beat fast, and our flesh may be in a, in a um, alarm state, Okay? But we're not supposed to panic like these other people because we're expecting um, what's about to come. All right. We expect this to come. All right. We expect the Lord. Before the Lord comes, destruction has to come. All right. And before the kingdom. All right. Destruction has to come. So, like you. Um, so. My first precepts would be Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6. This would be just a quick video on to stay humble and don't panic, right? Hold fast to this truth, all right? Do what you have to do for the Lord, all right? For his will, all right? Before it's too late, okay? Keep doing what you've been doing, all right? It's Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is the treasure. Okay, so during the times that are about to come, all right, wisdom and knowledge is going to be your stability. All right, so if you go into this word stability, all right, it will say firmness, fidelity, steadfastness, steadiness. All right, so to be firm, all right, it says truth, truly steady, okay? So wisdom, all right, what wisdom, okay? That all these things are going to come to pass and they're the most high is doing, all right? 
that uh, um, the most High's um, sending plagues on America for its wickedness. All right. That you're not supposed to fear death. That you know the most High's name and his son's name, Yahweh. All right. Is the most High's name and his son's name, Yahweh Shai. All right. OK, that's wisdom right there. That's wisdom. OK, that will keep you safe. All right. Knowing that. All right. Through all the um, trials you went through was building you up for this very moment. All right. This moment um, this a great moment. All right. So you have to stay firm. All right. And through the spirit, if the spirit's not dealing with you. You're not going to be firm. All right. Because the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. All right. And it's going to make a lot of people scared all of a sudden. All right. Mighty men shall cry bitterly. So-called tough guys in this world, all right, so-called real niggas, all right, macho men, all right, they're going to be crying bitterly, all right, all that facade is going to go away, all right, and the true men, the Lord, all right, the elect are going to be um, firm during that day, all right. So that's the wisdom, all right. Knowing what's going to come before it happens. All right. So that's a blessing. That's a gift. All right. The most side didn't allow this gift to come to everybody. All right. So you're supposed to cherish this gift and use it to the best of your ability. All right. This is Psalms chapter 23 and verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they can comfort me, all right? So death all around, all right? People dying, all right? You may see people you know die, okay? All right, your relatives dying in front of you, okay? That's for the wicked, all right? Those things are, um, are meant for the wicked, all right? That's the wicked's reward, death, all right? So during all this chaos, you're supposed to have belief and confidence that this is not for me. All right. All this mass death. All right. Is not for me. OK. So although I walk through the, the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. OK. Because if you have fear for the most high. All right. One Akim, I right, was speaking on this. All right. If you have fear for the most high. All right. You're not going to fear anything else. All right. Because if you have fear for the most high, all right, you have the confidence that he's going to protect you, all right? If he's protecting you, all right, you're not going to fear anything, all right? Because you have confidence that he's with you, all right? But people who don't fear the most high, all right, they're going to fear a lot of things that the most high has planned for them, all right? Because um, he's not going to be with them, all right? So they can be harmed, all right? They can be tormented, all right? So that's why fearing the most sides are very important. Okay, it's the beginning of wisdom. All right. So although I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. All right. The confidence, the belief. All right. The most high, the creator is with you. He's behind, he's by your side during these times, guiding you through the destruction. All right. That's heavy. All right. Okay, and this gift, all right, is is the greatest gift given. All right, this gift of faith, wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. All right. It says, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. All right, so these words, all right, the scriptures, the brotherhood, all right, it's supposed to comfort us, all right, and prepare us, all right, mentally for the times that are about to come. All right. This is Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 26. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. And his children shall have a place of refuge. All right. Okay, so the elect, all right, they're not appointed for wrath. All right. The Mosai is going to um, send his son back to avenge the elect. Okay. So we're supposed to have our confidence, all right, in the Mosai, all right, throughout any situation, from small trials to the bigger trials. I right? always trust in the Mosai. All right. Put your faith in the Most High, okay? This is Second Ezra chapter sixteen and verse seventy-five. Be ye not afraid, okay? 
year it out for the most size your guide. Okay, so when the most size is with you, don't be afraid of anything else. All right? Don't doubt, okay? If you have faith and confidence in the most size with you, that he shows you this through trials that he saved you out of, all right? Many times he showed you the Holy Spirit or Kakadash, all right? All right, don't doubt, all right? Don't panic like the majority of these people. Stay firm and calm, all right? Even if uh, uh, um, destruction just happens out the blue, all right? You know what's happening, all right? You're aware of this, which is the gift, all right? And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, save the Lord, Yahweh. Let none of your sins weigh you down. Let not your iniquities lift up themselves. All right. The Most High didn't give the elect a spirit of fear. All right. Because they're going to endure until the end. All right. In proper order. All right. From the men down to the women. Okay. They're all going to endure until the end. All right. The next precept could be Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 35. The wise shall inherit glory. Okay. So being wise, having the wisdom, all right, that this world can't receive, all right, that's, um, you're going to inherit glory, okay, if you endure unto the end, all right, glory that people can't fathom, all right, that's too far beyond people's mind to, um, to um, perceive, okay, so that should be a constant motivator, all right, to keep doing the will of the most high to the best of your ability forever, all right. But shame shall be, be, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. Okay, so the majority of people are gonna be embarrassed out here. All right, especially these women, are you Israelite woman, so-called Black Hispanic Native American woman? You could be utterly embarrassed. All right, because all the shit you talk is gonna go down the drain. I don't need no man, or I can do shit myself. Bullshit. All right, you're gonna see that you need a damn man. All right, you wicked ass woman. All right. And as long as and you niggas too. You niggas spicks and wetbacks. All right. All that simple lifestyles will go down the drain. All right. Of just doing wickedness. All right. Knowing that you're doing wickedness. Knowing that you should get right. All right. Knowing that you should change your life. All right. Knowing that your life is simple. All right. But you don't care. Because it's easy. All right. So the most side is going to get rid of the two thirds, all right? The pro but shame shall be with the promotion of fools. The wise shall inherit glory. Not everyone's wise, all right? This is the point. Proverbs 3 and verse 25. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot. From being taken. All right. To the most high, Yahweh is going to be your confidence. All right. That he's with you. All right. During these times. It's going to be extraordinary. All right. It's going to be a very terrible time. The worst time to ever be known to man. All right. And it's going to be the most extraordinary salvation at the same time. All right. It's the most high's will. All right. The most, it's going to be dramatic. All right. So keep doing what you have to do for the most high. All right. And keep the faith all the way to the end. Keep praying, fasting. All right. And keep enduring to the end. All right. So I hope this video is edifying. All right. A quick video. All right. Do not panic when sudden fear um, and destruction comes. All right. Trust in the most high throughout any situation. All right. Let's give all praise, honor, and thank glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakadash, death and destruction to America, and Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.